Hey there, Akuma fans. Charlie with the Gossiper Application staff. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the set and inspect graphic user interface from Renishaw. There it is right there. This is coming specifically from a customer who uh, saw me do something fancy when we first put his graphic user interface in place and wanted to have a little quick refresher on how to do that. Uh, just for the record, this is effective for uh, Set and Inspect version 4.1, 4.2, and the latest. I'm not uh, certain which uh, which decimal point they're on now, but uh, this is for the four point and greater. And what the customer has requested, this screen normally on your OSP, f uh, accessed through the vertical function keys, when you touch the single cycle and select the spindle probe and measurement cycles, you have all of these, um, all of these uh, cycles displayed on the main screen and they are in a specific order that we cannot change. However, some of them are not necessarily used. Now on this uh, PC version of the GUI, we have more of the uh, uh, the icons visible than a machine tool normally would. So it gets a little frustrating if you have to swipe down or scroll down in order to see something like the 3D corner. And the customer saw me do something a little special that would allow, uh, say, let's for, take for instance this 3D corner to be displayed closer to the top of the, uh, of the icons. And the way we're going to do that, we cannot, again, we cannot rearrange the main screen, but what we can do is from the main screen, let's select the 3D corner, which we're going to do a lot of, and then we will do our typical, which, okay, yeah, normally I'm going to do the top left, and uh, I'm going to say that my probe measurement position is one, uh, I mean, sorry, a hundred thousandths retract plane. I'm going to take it down by 375. I'm populating these as I normally would use this, uh, this individual cycle. Do I want to update the work offset? Heck yes, I do. And let's do G15 H1. Now from this point, as we're all probably familiar with this GUI, we would click generate and it would uh, send the uh, send the information to the MDI and the MDI buffer and allow us to execute it. But instead of generating this code, I'm going to touch the word save instead. And it pops up a little dialog block allowing me to call this whatever I want. Let's just say that this is going to be my uh, primary H1 set. Name it anything you want. And then I'm going to touch the word OK. So all I did was I took this standardized cycle and I stuck it in my saved single cycles process. So now instead of from my home screen hitting the single cycle, I'm just going to touch the single saved cycles and there I have that primary H1 set. And there's one that I had done previously. It's got a little exclamation point on it that uh, is indicating that there's something wrong. I'll delete that one later. But uh, to use my primary H1 set, I just touch it. I can repopulate this information if I want to. However, if it is still good, then I'll just generate and my code will be sent to MDI. Now I'm going to come back over here and just randomly do another one. Let's just say measurement cycle, just so that you can see how it's gonna look. Let's do a single we're going to do a Z minus and also update H1. So this one save. Just touch Z H1. There we go. Now if I come back over to my home screen and again, instead of single cycle, I go to single saved cycle there. Now this is how you can customize the primary selection screen so that you don't have to root through all of the measurement cycles plus as you notice it does save you a couple of touches because single save cycle jumps right in here as opposed to single cycle well which which apparatus okay that one am I calibrating my measuring now there you go hope this helps you out if you have any questions feel free to reach out to your local Gossiger application staff we are here to help you have a great day